How's it going everybody? Winter's here and I'm be doing a little bit of a uh, how-to tutorial on how to use the cheat codes functionality in PCSX2. Uh, per the request from some of my fellow YouTubers, especially the Twisted Metal YouTubers, I wanted to kind of create something that is easy to follow for anybody to, to use for, you know, for their fun, uh, pleasure. So in this example, I'm going to be using Twisted Metal head-on Nectar Twisted Edition. Um, so bear with me here. So what we're going to do is let's open up PCSX2. And in this case, I have the Nightly Edition. So basically, when you open up PCSX2, you have this screen with your games and whatnot. What we want to do is we want to go to the Settings and go to the Folders option. And what that's going to do is it's going to show us our Cheats directory. And it's saying here, used for storing .panach files containing game cheats. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and open that. Now, depending on who you are, uh, if you never used this before, this might be empty. And that's okay, because I'm going to show you how to um, get this all set up. We're going to leave this open for right now. And then what we want to do is close out of the that uh, folders tab or window. So what we want to do is we want to go to the tools tab and we're going to enable system console. And this is going to be very critical because it's going to help us generate this panache file that we need to enable these cheats. And so since we have this open, we're going to go ahead and open up the game that we want to play. So in this case, in Twisted Metal Head On, Extra Twisted Edition. And we're going to go ahead and do a fresh boot. And so, you know, the game's going to boot up like normal. It's going to, you know, go through its loading process and whatnot. We don't really care about that. What we care about is that uh, in the system console, you'll see a bunch of lines generate whenever you start up a new game. And this is going to be beneficial to us because what we need to generate this panache file is what's called the CRC code. And so if you scroll all the way up to where you started the game, there's going to be this section that's going to say disk change to whatever the ISO file is. In this case, mine's is Nick's Twisted Metal, uh, Head On, and Black 2, or Lost, however you want to call it. And it's going to identify the name of the game, extra, you know, Twisted Metal Head On, Extra Twisted Edition, the serial, the version, and the CRC. We want that CRC uh, code right there. And so after we find that CRC code, uh, that window that we have opened earlier, we're going to go ahead and cl right click. We're going to click on New Text Document. Uh, in this case, we're going to name this text document. I'm going to enable Caps Lock because I believe this might be case sensitive. I haven't tried it out, but we're going to name it 3 d c 2 f e 4 5 And while we're here, what we also need to do is we need to change the file extension for this text file. So we're going to go ahead and change this. Whoop, disable caps lock. We're going to change it to dot panache. And Windows is going to say, hey, you changed the file extension. Are you sure about that? We're going to say, yeah because we know what we're doing. And if you can't see the file extension uh, if on this folder or on this window, you can go ahead and go to the View tab, click on File Name Extension, and you can see it there. Um, so now that we have that, now is it is time to use the uh, codes that we want to to kind of you know alter our game. So we're gonna go ahead and double click. And you're gonna notice this is just empty. And I apologize for the mess, because uh, it can get messy a little bit. Yeah, we have this window open. How do we input our codes to make modifications to the game so that way we can have some more fun? And so in this example, so we have this code here that is the generic weapons rapid fire code. And this is raw, this is a raw code that we have. And if we input it like this, the emulator is not going to know what to do with it. 
Um, what I found out is that it needs to kind of be in a certain format. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this just for the sake of timeliness. And so this generic weapons rapid fire code that we have here, basically we need it to make it look like this. This part of the code is right here and this part of the code is right here. Basically, we have to put raw code in this format so that way the PCSX2 emulator knows that this code is available for use and that way it can implement it into the emulator. Okay, and so what we're going to do is, you know, we have this rapid fire uh, generic code and we're gonna go ahead and save that. So do a control S or file save. And so what we're gonna do is that after we put in the code that we want and we saved it, we're gonna go ahead and go to settings and go to emulation. And we're gonna go ahead and make sure that enable cheats is selected. So that way the emulator knows uh, hey, can you turn on these cheats, please? And the emulator's gonna be like, yeah, sure. And so you can see here that um, in the system console, it's gonna tell you, hey, you have some cheats activated, just letting you know, which is good. That's exactly what we want. All right, here we go. I enabled some more codes along with uh, the one we just implemented. And so you can see here with the generic weapons, rapid fire code, um, I can shoot a bunch of fire missiles and homing missiles and spam the heck out of them. And just kind of destroy these cars pretty easily. Which is pretty cool, you know, it's it changes the game. Uh, you know, lets you have a little bit of fun with it. And so, yeah, just destroying these cars. Shooting a bunch of power missiles and some ricochets. So we know the code works, we know it's uh, it's good. And if we want to implement more codes, then, you know, just a matter of finding them on the internet and just putting them into the game, um, just how I showed you all earlier. So there we go. That is how you use uh, the cheat codes um, for PCSX2 for your emulator. So that way you can have, you know, more fun with whatever game it is that you're trying to have some, you know, mess around with. So just a helpful hint that the code that I showed off, it was in a raw, unencrypted format. Now, for example, if your code is in a GameShark format, or if it's in a AR Max format, what you need to do is you'll need to download OmniConvert, and which I already have it installed. And if we open OmniConvert, you can see here that uh, we have this raw unencrypted. And you can change the input and the output on this. I'll provide a download on where to where to install this. So you can see here that generic rapid weapons rapid fire of this raw unencrypted code. If let's just say you want the code to be used for action replay max, or maybe uh, you want to use for Game Shark, uh, you can do all that here for Omni Convert. Uh, I'm not going to go too much in depth with it. Uh, it's kind of something you might have to play around with a little bit to kind of get familiar. But yeah, this is how you get codes to work on your PCSX2 emulator. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know if you found this helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.